Boom! Hello! Adam here from UK Tech Review. Bit of Facebook there. Um, I've just been watching some Maxi Shine videos. You probably know him. He makes really crazy computers. Puts them on YouTube and, you know, makes you think, eh, my computer's not all that good after all. Um, so I was watching his videos and I thought I'd show you what we've got here at UK Tech Review. What we use to make our videos with to um, edit them in Premiere Pro and that. and what have you, I'm going to show you the computer and all the other bits and bobs um, so I've got speakers Bose uh, it's a simple 2.1 Bose, so they're quite old uh, inherited these if that's the right word um, very nice speakers paired up with these Mordant Short pair uh, it's running in stereo, there's no surround setup but the sound obviously it's very nice and flat which is what I like from my music I like to hear everything the way it's meant to be heard you don't want it EQ'd so much which a lot of speakers do and unless you're buying studio monitors you're not going to get away from that EQ obviously there is some on these speakers but uh, very nice sounding as you can see what I'm pointing at here that's my monitor uh, the Dell S2409 so it's 24 inch uh, runs a resolution of 1920 by 1080 it has VGA input, DVI input and HDMI input which is very nice because I run PlayStation 3 through it as well. Uh, it also has an audio in and out which uh, the out is really good because obviously the HDMI from the PlayStation carries the audio and then you can just whack that out via the output of the monitor and then obviously you got it running through the speakers which is pretty cool. Uh, Logitech flat keyboard, slim style, you know, saves room, basic mouse there. Uh, very nice. Um, obviously, I use a mouse and keyboard for S FPS games, and recently got this to play FIFA with. It's the just the Xbox 360 wired controller. Hasn't got the battery pack or anything, because uh, that doesn't work with the PC unless you buy the wireless one, which is like 40 quid. Not happening. Uh, this little device here, the Eddie Roll UA25, which is an audio interface. So that's almost. The name of them. Um, so that's basically my sound card. Everything runs through that. Um, you've got two XLR inputs, which are sort of hybrids because they have jack inputs as well, which is good for guitar. Uh, so you've got your, your gain for them there. Um, I usually use this mic with them. Where is it done? This AKG C1000S. It's an alright you know, instrument mic. Nice with acoustic guitar. Um, just use that for basic recording. Nice little box. Uh, it has a headphone out on the front, and then at the back you've got two stereo outputs. So one's um, Jack, and the other's the RCA style. Um, so that's good. Really like this box. I couldn't live without it. You know, I use it every day. Just for, even for listening to music, it's good. Uh, but obviously for audio recording and that, it's a godsend. Especially not having to buy a big rack. Uh, very nice. So here we go, there's the computer, which is... It's probably... Just over a year old, this build. Um, so it's in, in no ways modern in terms of uh, components, because god, they update fast, don't they? But uh, it's a CM690K, which I absolutely love. It's not the, the newest one, the newest one is really good, but I can't afford that. It's a very nice case, the new one, but the, the CM690, it's very sleek, simple case. It, you know, it hasn't got all crazy bits on it, so uh, that's what I like about it. Stand DVD drive there, I think it's about 20 quid. And uh, what I like about this case is you've got your USB on the top, uh, as well as eSATA, Firewire and your mic and headphone jacks which rarely get used because of that um, so yeah what I've got, I've shown you the disk drive, it's a very standard disk drive hard drive bays here which are very nice hot swap style, that one's not plugged in that's just an old drive, 60 gig um, so it's very good for installing new components you know you just pull this out put your hard drive in there, no screws at all straight in and then you can put the wires around the other side uh, hard drive wise I've got a 500 gigabyte SATA which I use as the system drive for my operating system and all the uh, programs games etc and then 
This beast here is the Hitachi Desk Star 2 terabyte drive, which uh, I love. That's just my data storage drive. It's got all my videos, all my music, all my raw video files, photos. Oh, it's getting full up as well. I'm interested in those new 3 terabyte drives that they're bringing out. Uh, I think Western Digital have got one now, but uh, I'm not going to be able to afford one of them anytime soon. Um, CPU wise, CPU cooler. Um, this is the Akasa Evo cooler. It's very nice. You know, it's um, you can control the speeds within Windows with speed fan. So as you can see, it's I think it's I don't know what it's running at the moment. I'll have a look for you. Um, yeah, it keeps the CPU very cool. Uh, the CPU is the Intel Q6600, so it's the quad core one from way back when but it still performs well today for gaming I found it's fine I mean I it, it handles pretty much everything I throw with it um, video encoding and that it you know it does it fine it takes a little bit longer than if you had an i7 but obviously obviously they're gonna be faster um, I just got a speed fan on the go here so you can see there the temperatures they're all under 30 which is good, I'm not exactly doing anything tasking at the moment though. Uh, so I've got the fan running at about 1300 RPM, so it, it's pretty quiet, you can't hear much from that. Uh, see it chugging along there. I did have it overclocked, the processor, from 2.4 GHz, I got up to 2.9, um, but I had it running at 2.9 for about 8 months and then I did a reinstall and I started getting loads of blue screens, so yeah, it's back to stock speeds, which is fine for me at the moment. RAM, there it is, Kingston HyperX, 2GB DDR2, 800MHz, doing its job there. I wish I could get another stick of that, but DDR2 is expensive. Uh, the motherboard, XFX 750i, which is a nice motherboard, I don't think you can get it anymore, but you know, I like it, I like the look of it, I like the colours, the lights and that, it's um... Four SATA slots, two IDE drives, two PCI Express, one uh, PCIe, smally, is it two times, four times, something like that. Uh, socket 775, plenty of space for fans. Yeah, it's it's not the best overclocker, but apart from that, it's, it has a nice button on the back. It clears the CMOS, it's just like a reset button, so you don't have to pull the battery or anything when overclocking, which is good. Um, and now this I'm looking at here, that's my graphics card. You can see the HIS 5770 which is a very nice card. It's got a very nice sort of price to performance ratio. I think it was about £120 when I bought it. And I can play you know, pretty much anything I whack at it at the moment. Um, just play through the whole of Mafia 2 on full settings. Uh, 1920 by 1080, not a problem, no lag at all, it just creamed through that game. Uh, currently playing FIFA 11, obviously no problems with that whatsoever. Um, F1 2010, was it 2011 that one? Uh, that F1 game. F1 2010, yeah. F1 2010 it likes. You can basically play anything that's come out at the moment on this card. Um, so I'd highly recommend 5770, you know, it's not the most expensive card. And it will it will do very well with today's latest games. Uh, power supply, Corsair, 400 watt. So it's, you may be thinking, you know, that's not the biggest power supply in the world, and it's not by no means. But for this system, it you know it powers it well. And the thing about power supplies, you know, I could have a a 600 watt unbranded power supply, and it's not going to be as good as a as a well built branded 400 watt one so you know it's something to not skimp on the power supply I'd always recommend to go for a known make with your power supplies because if they you know I've had loads of power, su power supplies in the past no makes and they just blow you just turn it on one day boom gone you gotta buy a new one whereas this has lasted fine with this system so far not a problem at all um, never had any power offs or anything like that it's done really well so yeah that's my system. Um, let's have a look at some of the crazy stuff on here. 
So there you can see my Windows Experience Index, 5.5. So beautiful. Uh, the RAM brings it down there. That's about it, you know. I'm pretty happy with that score. I mean, this computer does everything that I need it to do. Obviously, I'd I'd like a more up-to-date, better one, but yeah, does the job fine. We got here just a simple the hard drives. We got there's the Zong Zong drive, which is that two terabyte one. It's healthy. They're all healthy, and the 500 gig system drive. Uh, yeah. So I've used quite a lot of that up. Over half full now, so that's why I'm looking into a new one. Um, Possibly a raid as well, because uh, I don't want this failing on me. But I haven't had any problems so far. Such wood. So yeah, that's my system. I just thought I'd make this video after watching and Maxi Shine and his crazy PCs, 330 inch monitors. Oh, I thought my 24 inch was big. Uh, I'd love another one of them as well, but not going to happen for uh, for a while. Got an SD card there. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or anything, whack them in the comments. I've been Adam with UK Tech Review.